Hey guys, it's me again bringing another video. So Yummy Merrick is finally here. The big boss is finally here guys. So, so yeah, let me go over the details really quickly. So this time we have to collect, collect uh, map fragments. Interesting. Challenge Yummy Merrick to obtain exclusive cards and unlock him as a playable character. Interesting. Earn map fragments by defeating duelists and do well. When you collect enough map fragment you'll be able to locate the rare hunters interesting obtain with event points exclusive character yummy merrick a duelist who can learn skills such as shadow game which deals damage to both players according to the number of cards in their graveyard and right back at you which allows you to strengthen your monster after taking batch damage interesting his signature card level golem a high monster level that you can special summon on your opponent's side of the field by choosing your opponent monster. Very good. You also got this. Interesting, yo. 3300 attack. Really nice. Normal fiend type monster. 1800 attack. Really good. So these are a couple of cards. Revival Jam. I remember this card, yo. Interesting. Well, they also bring back um old cards so you can use X jewels on it to obtain it. Pretty nice. So expensive, but 300 for Big Share Garner. So yeah, uh, these are some details. What other details are there? Um, oh, we also got this. You get five gems every day for watching do we play. You also get um, five gems for watching the new box preview for the first time. Very good. So that, with that out of the way, let's watch the Yami Merrick introduction, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I don't usually do this, but this is a special occasion, so I'm gonna bring you guys the all the glorious guys. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and show you guys the. So there we go guys, sick intro, so yeah, let me check the rewards that you get from the dual gate, so pretty nice, you get gems and gold and jewel, regular stuff, so yeah, you unlock Demi Merc at 150,000 points. So we got this guaranteed card. This as well, pretty nice. Is there any other card? So these are the three guaranteed cards you get as a from Dual Gate. Pretty nice. So yeah, guys, these are the details. So yeah, I'm gonna transition to the next clip so yeah I see you guys in my next clip hey guys it's me I bring you another video so in this video I'll be showing guys how to perform level 30 Yami Merc using the standard classic on a video method so without further let me show you guys deck this so guys, level 30 Yami Merc is very easy to farm. This deck should do the trick. Basically, you want to use the Honey Girl to lock down your opponent monster using the T Guard and Holy Guard skill. So we're not taking damage. We have Raimi to help us 
get out on the video from the deck and press the thing on the deck. It's really good. We have three crystal seed in this deck with that drawing power. Really good. I'm using the Great Keeper Vessel method to get that 1k extra do assessment for dealing effect damage only. Alternatively, you can use some um, Prana Army method to do that Great Keeper Vessel. If you're running um, Great Keeper Vessel, you want to run two green attack. If you're running uh, Prana Army method, you want to run Gift of the Material, right? I added Card Breaker for that effect damage. Not effect damage, um, special summon bonus. Um, alternatively, you can use um, Collegial Crow, Collegial Crow, if you want. Um, the other card I'm running is um, Two Enemy Controller. This will help me ensure that I get over 10k damage. Basically, what you want to do is um, sack one of your Honorable Girl. Tribute, take one of your opening monster, which happened to be um, Legendary Fiend. Basically, um, that card will be around 4,000 attack rate right? because each standby phase that card gains 700 attack rate. Right? So, on the last one, it will probably have like 4,000 plus attack. So, basically, you might use second um, effect of enemy control, take control of the opponent monster, and basically. Same standard procedure, use um, secret pass on your vessel, use tuning unit attack on your vessel, and go for direct attack. I added a um, second enemy controller, just in case um, he doesn't get that 4k attack. So we could take his other monster, and which will hopefully do our first vessel, right? Because like, he tends to have uh, more than one legendary fiend, so if you want you can take both of them and take control of them right I'm also running um, Rain of Mercy this will ensure us that our opponent will not die to um, his own skill basically um, the skill he's using is a shadow game basically what that skill does is um, for each card in your graveyard you would take damage equal to that mom card in your graveyard so if you have one card in your graveyard you take 100 life point right so if you have two Card in your graveyard, you take 211 damage. Right? This will also apply to your graveyard as well as your opponent's graveyard. So, this will heal both our life points, right? So, that's good. Yeah. I'm also running um, Secret Passage Treasure. This is pretty much a must have in all the farming deck. Just make sure me and my tech get through. We've done this. You can use both Seal or Big Man Shot. Should work. I also added um, Sun Wishes for that extra healing power. So, every time I draw a card, I can find the point life point so this is really good plus this will um balance out his trap card not trap card his, yeah his trap card as well as um shadow of the game and shadow game so it's kind of balanced out plus this is the only trap card in our deck so we want to get that trap activation bonus so i have at least one trap card right so yeah, this is pretty much a deck um this deck should do the trick alternatively you can run uh you can use um some illusion plus Dimension Hole method. You don't want to use Element Controller as well as um, Sam Sir Cat plus Tempo. That should work. So, yeah, let's get straight to the duel. Let's check the rewards. Hopefully, the drop rate is much better here. Let's go here. Level 30 is really easy guys, you shouldn't have any problem with it. I haven't tested out level 40 yet, so once I get the hang of it, um, I'll bring us the guy for level 40, so stay tuned for that guys. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Hopefully you, wanna, you open up with the honorable girl. Sweet. Summon your honorable girl. Start locking down your opponent monsters. What is this gonna be? When is this gonna summon target one face? Okay, this doesn't do anything. Okay, this guy went all out, yo. Let's summon Raimi to get out our second army girl. So 
the, the only card that will pose a threat to us in this deck is um his one of his monsters, I forgot his name, Pfizer Daz. So basically this, that what that card does is um if he's normal summon successfully he could um target one of your monsters and destroy it. Um basically that's what that card do so that's why you wanna have um two on a big on the field so that way if one do get destroyed you still have one left right so like using shadow game you take damage equal to the card we have Negrega so this is the card I was talking about visor Daz you just called almost summon target one monster on your point control during your third standby phase you get to destroy right basically so get out your second out of so that way it won't get destroyed so that one left right Locked on your point monster. You take the 100 lapin damage, that's my thing here. That's actually rainy. Get out there on a big from the deck. And then on our deck, it's pretty good. We still haven't tribute summon his high level monster yet, yeah. We still have still waiting for that. I'm gonna summon third on we go because um this one is gonna get destroyed. And it doesn't seem like he's gonna summon his be monster anytime soon. So yeah, keep locking down your point monsters, be straightforward. Set your enemy controller to make room. They haven't triple summon yet. Yeah. This is glossy. Summon it to get that glossy bonus. Lock down this monster. On your point of damage, you should probably activate Rain of Mercy next turn. Yeah, I should probably activate Rain of Mercy just to be on the safe side. Finally, he tribute summon Legendary Fiend. Basically, what this card does is um. During each of your standby phase, this card gains 700 attacks, so this will help you out. Uh, great the vessel on the last turn, right? Right, take control of it on the last turn, second last turn. What well, last one doesn't matter at this point? To basically manage your hands here. Um, I made a mistake. You need to um, lock down your opponent monster. I must stop this. I don't feel like ditching the cards. So lock down your opponent monster. Because he will go for lethal if you don't lock down this monster. So make sure you to lock down all of his monster. Occasionally you might forget, but yeah. So yeah, he has 2,900 attack. We're down to four cards. Let's set up Crystal Seer.
Let's set. Let's activate Rain of Mercy. Set this. There's um. Yeah, let's flip. How many cards we have left? There's three. Let's flip this. Let's take some wishes. Set this. And suicide to free up monster slot. So at this point, I manage your hand. So we're down to two cards. So that his life point is already 4,300 yo. We don't even need a second enemy controller. Okay at this point. I'm gonna end the turn. I should probably activate the animals, should I? So what, 700? Yeah, I should probably activate this. We don't want to die to his... by his trap card. Let's set. And controller. And end our turn. So, um, we're on last turn, right? Basically, we don't even need to um take a second monster. So we're gonna sack one of our honorable girl. So we don't even need second enemy return in this deck. Sack this. This. Doesn't matter whichever you control. Do you wanna Do you wanna free space? There we go. On the last turn, basically what you do is um I'm gonna activate Salem Wishes for that travel activation. Just summon your card breaker by destroying your Sodom Wishes. Use any controller. Take control of his highest monster. Make sure you keep your HP high. Summon your uh, Great Keeper Vessel. You secret pass on your vessel. Use both union attack on your vessel. So that we didn't even need second union attack. I mean not second union attack. Enemy controller. Because you have 5000 attack. I think that's good enough for attack and damage. Hopefully. Yep. Go for direct attack. So if you do anything correctly, you should get around 7k to 8k do assessment. Let's check the... We can get our life point to 1000, under 1000. So we're not going to get that lower life point do assessment. Sweet. So we got 8k do assessment. Exactly. So how many glossy cards we use? We use 700 glossy cards. So the base will be... What? 7000 and... 300 so yeah as you can tell guys this deck is very consistent level 3 is really easy using this deck so yeah as you can tell this deck is 
pick a system you can get AKD assessment if you have if you're playing up classic cards other than that so yeah I'm gonna end this video here guys um if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you guys want to see some videos like this um subscribe to my channel I try to bring you guys this video um if you guys want to see level 40 yummy merch fun guys stay tuned I'll try to bring you guys that video hopefully by tomorrow by today so yeah other than that good luck with farming until then later